What's up guys? In this video, we are going to break down a sample TMC practice question about when you should or shouldn't make changes to a patient's ventilator settings depending on how much or how little ventilatory support they need at that particular time. So if you're ready, let's get into it. During the ventilator check of an adult patient who weighs 77 kilograms, you note the following settings. An exhale tidal volume of 550 milliliters, peak inspiratory pressure of 30, high pressure limit of 65, low pressure alarm of 20, and a low tidal volume alarm of 500 milliliters. Which of the following changes should be made at this time? A. Increase the set tidal volume to 700 milliliters. B. Increase the low tidal volume alarm to 535 milliliters. C. Decrease the high pressure limit to 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure. Or D. Decrease the low pressure alarm to 10 centimeters of water pressure. Do you know the answer? If not, no worries, let's break it down. To answer this one correctly, you needed to have a basic understanding of ventilator settings and alarms. This is definitely a topic that you should spend some time on when preparing for the TMC exam. For this patient, all of the settings are acceptable except for one. The tidal volume, peak inspiratory pressure, low pressure alarm, and low tidal volume alarm all appear to be set appropriately. However, a high pressure limit of 65, on the other hand, is way too high for this patient. As a general rule of thumb, the high pressure limit should be set 10 to 15 centimeters of water pressure above the peak inspiratory pressure. Otherwise, the patient has an increased risk of barrel trauma or lung injury if too much pressure is applied to the lungs. Now for the patient in this question, their peak inspiratory pressure is 30, which means that the high pressure limit should be set between 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure. So by breaking down the question and using what we know about ventilator settings, we could determine that the correct answer has to be C. Decrease the high pressure limit to 40 to 45 centimeters of water pressure. So there you have it. That wraps up this video on making changes to a patient's ventilator settings and I hope that you found it helpful going through and breaking down the sample TMC practice questions. If so, then you are in luck because this only scratches the surface of what we have to offer for our students. As I always say, going through practice questions is by far one of the best methods to prepare for and pass the TMC exam. And that is why so many of our students have been having such success here lately. If you want to get access to our entire massive bank of practice questions, just like the one in this video, you can consider checking out our TMC test bank, where we have over 800 of these bad boys that cover every single topic that you need to know for the TMC exam. So if you're interested, I will drop a link down below in the description. And also, if you'd like to get our practice questions delivered straight to your inbox on a daily basis, you can consider signing up for our Practice Questions Pro membership, where the members get a brand new practice questions straight to their inbox every day, and these little tidbits of knowledge over time add up to massive results. It costs less than one of those fancy cups of coffee that all the kids are drinking these days, so if you're interested, I'll drop a link to that as well down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what topics you want us to cover next. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend. Stay.